very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this show. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. Hello, Monday. Today, let's talk about networking rules for job seekers. Networking rules for job seekers. Networking and social media. What, is, what are the do's and the don'ts of networking? How can you ensure that you use your networks to better yourself as a person? So many graduates are not having jobs. Why is it so? Ensure that you engage with us on our social media handles. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and that Y254 channel is where you can find us. Good morning to you. Hoping that you're well. My name is Ram Aguko and uh, we remember we are coming to you live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke where you can be able to follow us online at the comfort of uh, your living room and also from wherever you are watching us from on the go. Today I'm joined by none other than James Watare. He is the human he's a human resource specialist and uh, he also deals with career branding uh, he also he's a linkedin expert and a project manager karibu sana james thank you very much quite a profile there huh? i appreciate <laughs> hope you're well uh, i'm happy to be here let's talk about networking and yeah. social media yeah. um w w what are the most common uh, uh mistakes that you see youths make in regards to networking let's start by telling people what is networking okay uh networking is simply building relationship mm -hmm. uh building relationship with your co-workers with your colleagues with your workmates uh mm -hmm. with people you socialize with okay and unless you live in a cave uh, 30 meters below uh, the sea level you interact with the people mm -hmm. and people are going to blend you mm -hmm. subconsciously or consciously mm -hmm. you communicate your brand immediately you leave your house Mm. to the world people are going to have an opinion about you the first thing you do when you leave the house yes. is just communicating about yes. what you are yes yes you better now be strategic in what you communicate so um in networking now we have the traditional and the the social media Mm -hmm. uh, the social media is where now it is very common for the young people to mm -hmm. communicate their brand. Mm -hmm. You communicate your brand, brand by the way you, the, the content you post there, the, po the, the pictures you post there, the photos, what you do on social media. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's now you're communicating your brand. Mm -hmm. That's now, 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 now you need to, th to think about your audience. What mm -hmm. do they think about you mm -hmm. when you post something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when, when you say something on, on, online, yeah. it, it, it reflects who, who you, you are. are exactly no matter no matter how light it may be yes either negatively or positively even if it's a joke yes even if it's a meme yeah either positively or negatively and it is um and it uh, influences your audience it influences your audience that's why you have even social media influencers mm -hmm. who have built the uh, audience over time because of what they do mm. and the some of them are consistent with what they do that's why they have built they are known for something You've, you've, you've interacted with so many youths. Yeah. Uh, what are some of these common mistakes that they, we, we always make as youths when it comes to this particular issue of networking? There are so many. Some of them use very vulgar language. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and you see, um, they don't know when recruiters are, 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 are searching for are hiring people. When mm -hmm. you said your CV and they, are, they have called you for an interview, mm -hmm. they first of all go through your social media pages. Correct. And, and if there is a post you did that goes against the company values, mm -hmm. the recruiters will be um, uh, not willing to touch you. That's how you lose it. You lose it because uh, they, it is, they don't know whether it will be a replica, a replica of the same in their own company. <laughs> and, they, and you know, the, the companies protect their brands a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know whether you'll be posting the same on your social media when you're working for your company. And you know we represent uh, an institution when you post. Mm -hmm. Like now you, when you post, you're not just in post as lamb. Mm -hmm. you are, you're also going to um, affect the brand of Y254. So I can't just talk carelessly on social care. media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I'm, can't. I'm sure you have seen people have lost jobs because of careless talk on social media. You have seen them losing their jobs. I have. Yeah. Some have even uh, gone to court. Yes. Because of the things they post online. Yes, yes. The other thing that uh, youth um, 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 do a mistake is posting nude photos on social media. When they go to look for jobs, some companies require uh, uh, some level of decency. Mm -hmm. So when you post some nude photos... Up the, up, up, uh, and, and you know, may you say 
that uh, it's my profile. If, if you don't like what I post, unfriend me, block me. I know, they say that there is a difference between my social life and my and professional my life, <laughs> but there is a very thin line. Because it communicates exactly who you are and your values and what you stand for. So no, there is no recruiter who is going to touch you because of because to communicate either your moral values mm -hmm. and uh, the way you do your things. Mm -hmm. They say garbage in, garbage out. Garbage out. Out of the abundance of the of the heart, speak the mouth speaks. <laughs> and you know how what you speak by posting on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is something that is new, and there is no way you are going to leave your personality at home, then go to work. Then they pick your personality when you go back home. Does that, does a profile picture also have a, an important role when it comes to networking? Also, yes, it's very important. Um, um, uh, we, I, I, I had, I was, have said that we, 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 we are brand. You are, you are brand yourself, mm. and the way you brand yourself there, the people that are going to take you serious or not serious. There is a there is a there is a photo you can post and people are going to look at this one is a professional and another photo you can post. This is a joker. This is a joker. <laughs> <laughs> Which company wants to hire a joker? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no company wants to hire a joker. So it's very important the the image you put out there. Uh-huh. I know there are people who say um um uh, um about um the the, the personal profile uh, plus, say, your professional is, they are not related, eh? mm -hmm. but they are very much related. They are. They are very much related. Actually, um, the, the, the names you use and the photo you use are very important. You should use the same name across all social media. Now, there is this, um, about that particular issue of naming, I, I once received a friend request from somebody, and uh, they, they, they call themselves uh, Huyumtu, for example, Huyumtu. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and, and there is one that I, re I received a few uh, a few days ago, yeah. and I was I was looking at this particular name. I don't know if I could, if I could. <laughs> I, I was looking at this particular name, and I was like, um, should I even accept this friend request because it is it, the name itself is funny, and uh, someone will, will will be saying uh, it's not a must that I display my original name as it appears on my ID on my social media platforms, or someone can use the word uh, the name. Lover of God, yeah, online mm. I, I, is that bad branding? Someone uses the name uh, God's love, or or because you know they they are spiritual, they are yeah. Christians. Yeah. So, um, so the 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 best bet to use is your official names across our media platforms, whether it is through uh, whether it is Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. The best bet is to use unless you are um, an entertainer. Uh -huh. Where you have adopted your own name, the, 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 the public can be able to resonate, or your target market can be able to resonate with that name. And you know that is a career. Mm -hmm. is your career, you are telling me that is your career, yeah. and you, that is your brand name. Unless you are an entertainer, unless you are in that influencing world, if you are a job seeker, Stick to your official names. Whether it's even if it's uh, because you have different platforms, yes, Facebook, LinkedIn, yes. Twitter, yes. should they all have the same name? The same across all platforms, yes. And a good photo is presenting you. Not one photo is uh, one you are in a bathroom, the other mm. one in, in the beach, the other one you are swimming. You know, a, a good photo that is presenting uh, uh, the image that you'd like the company to see. What about people who put profile pictures of animals? Ah, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was called bad branding. Bad branding? Yeah. I make a picture of Paka Pali and I say, Mati, I'm a picture of Simba. Nobody is going to take you serious. I don't think this are the kind of argument that they have, I, I usually have with the young people. They don't see a Simba as a, as a huge thing that can impact uh, uh, the way they look for jobs. Wait until they go for an interview. <laughs> and they yeah. get the recruiter have analyzed all their social media and they are being uh -huh. asked about the post they did about uh, their names why they have put a dog in their profile instead of their own face poor branding poor branding and no the recruiter have got a poor me for example if a job is advertised today in less than 24 hours it's going to receive more than 100 applications so and the recruiter is looking for the best fit to that organization so it's looking for so many factors mm -hmm. 
values you stand for, uh, how, how do you present yourself, how do you communicate, you know those who communicate with the with the the koi koi language, the xasa. <laughs> 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 you call it koi koi language. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I, I, I used to dislike that kind of communication. Xasa. Yeah. Xasa. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so the the, the you could even start wondering whether is how you be writing your emails. Mm hmm. Communication, because, because one of the major things that. The recruiter is looking for uh -huh. when they are hiring the fresh graduates, especially the, fre the fresh graduates, mm. is the employability skills. One of the employability skills is ability to communicate. Is Shen a language you would uh, discourage, especially on social media, regardless of the post you, someone makes on Facebook or I would highly discourage that because you get used to that, you take it to your workplace. Mm. And when uh, the recruiter is searching through your social media, is looking at your language, the way you communicate, you start wondering, is this person serious with how, how they arrive and how mm -hmm. they communicate? Can they represent our brand? Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Let's look at the, 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 the beliefs, the belief systems. Now, belief systems have an effect on personal branding, I believe. So. Yes. Um, when you look at the mode of dressing, of somebody um, does it have an effect on networking and branding it has an effect uh, for example when you attend um, 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 interview you are supposed to dress appropriate according to the company values and the, and the company dress code yes for example if you, they have the at this dress code and uh, job seekers are getting some jobs to get it wrong I don't know why and this you can get them from their company websites you can get from their social media pages uh -huh. how they how the company dresses such that when you go for an interview or when you go for a networking event at least you are dressed to ha how the company dresses you know there are people who believe that times have changed and therefore dress code should also change that the way you used to dress a while back can't be the same as the way you dress right now, the way you, 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 you are groomed. People nowadays have rasta. Yeah. So there are companies that have, uh, that have policies that you can dress smart casual. Mm. But not just any hourly. Smart casual means like a khaki, a good khaki, an official shirt, uh, and uh, well, well groomed hair. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether it is last hour or whether it is um, you have you have the rocks, yeah. but you are well groomed. You are smart. You are presentable. Mm -hmm. But now there is somebody who can have those lasters, but is not presentable at all. But their companies they don't accept that. So it depends with the company policy and what the values they stand for. Mm -hmm. So before you go for an interview, before you go attend that networking event, search for the company and what they stand for. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, I, I don't know, I mean, there, there, there is some very ignorant statements. I can dress the way I want. You'll be kicked out. My dress, my choice. And, then, and the companies don't care because there are so many people that want to get a point. <laughs> my yeah. goodness. And that's how yeah. people lose jobs. Yes. So always Google or do research yeah. on yes. the company. Yes. And very find important. out their dress code. Yes. I wanted to look at how people relate on, on, on social media. Um, sometimes people end up having um, arguments, you know, mm. in, in most cases, because of some particular topic, it could be religious or political. Sometimes people, you know, exchange words online. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, should we, so should youths be careful with how they relate with one another online? And does that also, how does that also Im impact their networking capability? Yeah, so I, I, I had a case where... Um, 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 someone had made a, a, a tweet about uh, um, a certain political leader in their tweet. And when uh, he was already employed by the company, but mm -hmm. when the, the company, uh, the company places a bit, you should not have, uh, you should not be political partisan. Okay. Uh -huh. And this tweet was completely political partisan. The guy lost the job. Because he made a political tweet. A political tweet. He tweeted himself out of the job. Man. That is how sensitive you are, you are supposed to know which company you are working for mm -hmm. and where you are going for an interview. So it, it doesn't matter how good you are. The simple thing is keep your social media clean and classy. Simple. Wow.
And you see, you're reminding me of uh, <laughs> cases where I've seen people get into arguments online. Yeah, and they become nasty. And be, it's so nasty. They begin to insults and the mad yeah. feeling and very bad, go very bad, yeah. Especially now we are going to the high political voltage season. Mm -hmm. You are going to see those uh, tweets and those uh, uh, posts on social media. Let me let, let me give you a, 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 another example. In most case, in, I know there is somebody who can relate with this particular uh, uh, setting. You'll find a form four liver, and I'm going to the uncle. Yeah. Just finish your form four. Yeah. Bring me your papers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common. Is it the person I've got an uncle like that? <laughs> you have an uncle like that. Yeah. Bring your papers and I'll finish the rest. <laughs> So many people can relate to that statement. Finish your, uh, uh, finish your, uh, no, go to university or go to a college. Uh -huh. Finish, bring your papers, and I will finish the rest. No, there is one very funny case. Eh? <laughs> God, eh? <laughs> the the guy knew the uncle cannot do anything, but is a very well networked uncle. Uh, so during the get together, you know, during get together, they give you those promises. Yes, yes. He told the the, the guy, uh, bring your papers. Eh? Send me your papers. I'm going to uh, get some network through my to get you through, through my networks. Eh? Uh, so uh, get, uh, a, get a job. <laughs> the guy they, they were sent. So they met the following uh, get together. Uh -huh. You know what the, the uncle told me? Uh -huh. Ah, I received your papers. Ah, huh? I'm still looking my. for your job in my networks. The guy laughed. <laughs> <laughs> the paper was never sent. The paper was never sent. But the, the, the uncle remembered, oh, this guy was to send. Maybe he sent and I never saw it. I think me <laughs> just cover it up. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at how people relate with each other. Yeah. Yes, they say your network is your yeah, network. network. Yes. It could be that family friend, that uh, uh, uncle. Oh, oh, and of course, there are some uncles who, <laughs> I don't know why they have to be uncles. <laughs> <laughs> and, a few be, aunts. and a few aunts. There. <laughs> there are some people who, yes, they always deliver on their promises. Yeah. You, you, they yeah, they sure. ask yeah, you, yeah, bring yeah, your purpose, yeah, and they, yeah, they do yeah, deliver. Yeah, yeah. How should you relate with your networks in a way that is healthy so that you don't appear to be a, par to be pa a, a parasite who only needs them mm. when you are in, you know, in, in need, who only calls them when you need a job, who only calls them when there is a problem? Yeah, so there is no, so many ways of building networks. You can build networks online and off, uh, uh, online and offline. Mm -hmm. One of the best ways of building um, uh, best place to network is uh, on online is LinkedIn. LinkedIn mm -hmm. is where you, if you, for example, you want to work for for a company X and company Y, I you you I advise I advise job seekers to list like 20, 30 companies that they would like to work for. Then they go they search for the the hiring managers and the company um, directors on LinkedIn. Then they connect with them. After connecting with them, then uh, the, those uh, those professionals they usually share articles or awards the company have won. So that's where you comment, you reshare, and you, I mean, and they they, they, they they see people who 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 comment on their on their on their articles and on their posts. Those who share their articles, mm. and then. You introduce yourself through um, um, through the your inbox with a short message of who you are, what you do, your profession, and what you are looking for. Mm -hmm. The problem with the I have with this kind of generation, they have seen it as a director or a hiring manager, but mm -hmm. they just go and say hi. Come on, nobody is going to respond to hi. Can you be creative? Uh, that is resonance. At hello, at hello. hello, good morning. That's resonance. Can you say hello and introduce yourself properly and what you are looking for and the skills that you have? Say your name and get to the agenda. Yes, not hi. I mean, who has that time to converse with hi? These managers are busy people. They rarely have, have, have time to go through social media. And, and, and you know, one, one problem that some, some, some youths make is once they send you that hi, yeah. the next, because as a manager, you're busy, you busy know, you're yeah. having meetings. Yeah. The next text you get from them is, um, I'm sorry if I offended you. Or uh, why are you not responding, why are you not responding to my, to my text? I mean, <laughs> at, the, at the, my God will, will see me through. <laughs> God will fight for me. Yeah. You're not even not responding to my text. And they're, ang they're yes. angry. Yes. The other way, if you got some um, a network offline, maybe you attended an, um, um, a networking event where you're able to build rapport with a professional, or you're in campus, you, there, there was a career fair, mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and you are able to connect with someone who had come to um, uh, those um, the companies that had come to do their presentation and you are able to pick your um, you are able to pick the business card you build and you build La Paul. Um, the, the, the way you can follow up is uh, uh, the best way to follow up is uh, uh, to, to tell them uh, is if, if, if you're able to identify a project they, work, they are working on or, uh, or a certification that they have done and uh, it's the career you would like to pursue. You can now get back to them and ask where you can do that certification. Probably if you're in marketing, you'd like to do certification, a professional certification in marketing, or you're in procurement, you'd like to do a professional certification in market, in a, in a procurement. Mm. Then, then you can ask for advice, which is mm. the best college or which is the best uh, certification institute. But where you can where you can do your certification, or if there's a project you are working on, <coughs> and you think that is. Uh, the company might be interested. You might, uh, you can ask for them to review your report or your proposal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the way you, you but you don't go just uh, um, um, uh, without even, you have not talked to them for quite some time. Mm. And then you say, uh, I am looking for a job. And you have not even stated which job. Some, 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 uh, which brings me back to that particular particular question that I, I asked you earlier. Yeah. Sometimes you have these networks. They have the ability to help you. Yeah. Um, how, how, how should you build that rapport with them so that you don't, you don't appear to only relate with them when you're when looking, looking for a job? job? Yes. That's why I'm building up my case about how you ask for a professional certification where they did a project you are doing on. Then you... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and then if you... When you finish your... Um, if you are in campus and you have just finished, you inform them you are finished. You send, you send them your, your CV and your, uh, your certificates. Then you tell them that uh, as you are looking for jobs, you are you are, you are looking for jobs. You are seeking for a professional certificate. Then they can advise you where to look for a job. Then uh, you search through the company website mm. what they are working on. Then you tell them I have seen your company is working on. I've got some skills that you can utilize on this project. That's mm. how you build. Rapport. Don't, don't just keep quiet and then all of a sudden you are saying you are looking for a job. I always advise job seekers. Never tell a hiring manager you are looking for a job. There is nothing called a job. Can you be specific? So, so there the, are the many who normally say that um, give me any job that is available. There is no any job. It shows you know you have, you have no direction. I don't know which skills you have. Mm. So don't say any job. Yeah. Be specific. Be specific. Even if you have, uh, even if, for example, you can do uh, like three or four jobs, like um, um, customer service, administration, procurement, just say it. Mm. I am available for job one, two, three. But never stop of a job. There is nothing called a job. You know, the, the, the challenge that I've realized with some of these youth, because I interacted with, I interacted with one of them, yeah. and I asked them, why do you say you just want any job? Yeah. Akasima, that I've, because I've been looking for jobs, and I've not gotten what I want, so anything that is available is acceptable. And this, I'm looking for a job, but I, I have four of them in my inbox. And I can tell you, there is a very big difference between somebody who is clear on what he wants mm -hmm. and a person who is looking for any job. Because, uh, if, if I say these hiring managers are busy, so you introduce yourself, you say you are looking for a job, A, B, C, D. This manager probably might be having an internship or a, or a job, a vacancy, that requires people to uh, send, your, send your CV. Mm. Then they, 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 they will send you an email or you're going to send your CV. Or they know a, a certain manager who is hiring a specific position. Now tell me, when you say you need any job, where is he going to start with you? <laughs> I, I want us to touch on uh, the online networking a, a, a bit. Yes. And specifically LinkedIn. Yeah. Connections. Yes. How do you build connections on LinkedIn? Of course, you've mentioned sometimes you share posts. You share you, posts. Yes. You, 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 you comment. Yeah. Uh, um, what about these connections? And you see, many people even, we end up rejecting some of the connection requests. Yeah. You, you look at them, you're like, ah. Yeah, you ignore them. Oh, you, I see this idea. Yeah. You ignore. How should we do it? What is the right way? <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing up the LinkedIn issue. LinkedIn has become very big of it. The multinational organizations um, the, um, and it has caught up with the national with the, even the local companies mm. they are first of all going to look for uh, candidates to hire on LinkedIn mm. if they will just go to the search bar and if they are looking for a procurement officer mm. they just search on the search bar the procurement officer and the first uh, let's say a hundred 
profiles that come, mm -hmm. they will just go reviewing and see whether you have the the experience and the skills that they could they, they check your for. profile. They check. So if your profile is not optimized, you know it will not come among the first. If you just registered, there is no profile picture. There is no description. Mm -hmm. It will not come up among the, 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 the among the first profiles. Many youths don't have LinkedIn accounts. Many, not just even many, even professionals. I, 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 I do so many um, posts about how to optimize your LinkedIn, how to uh, build up on your LinkedIn profile. Because LinkedIn profile looks at you even at your future. You know, you are connecting with you, even if with a manager, even mm. if they don't have a position today, mm. they can have a position next month next year or yes. two years to come uh -huh. it is you building a network over a long period of time you can also look at the career path someone have taken if somebody for example is a chief finance officer you can want to find out he started as account clerk and he ha the way he has built a career over time mm -hmm. you see and that's why i said if you are for, when you're connecting with the when you're doing connections on linkedin go and search for people in your profession and the hiring managers and directors, then you send connection to them. Then from, from there, start following them. Especially if you have made, you make work for Oxfam or KBC or Safaricom, follow people who are in those companies. Connect with them. Yeah. Send them requests. Send them requests. And the requests you receive, accept them. Accept, yes. No matter who it is. Yes. From there, I'll start following, uh, uh, um, um, connecting with, I mean, sharing whatever they post. Uh, at some point, introduce yourself through the inbox on what you want. Mr. Otari, yes. I, I was looking at uh, a particular scenario on LinkedIn. Yes. And uh, normally, this is what I saw personally. I would expect to see a funny name on Facebook. Yeah. But not on LinkedIn. Yes. That's what I normally would expect. Yes. So I got a connection from some, some name. I can't even read it. Uh. I ignored it. Was that a wrong move? Or oh, uh, a name that was not uh, uh, professional? It, it doesn't make sense. It's not, it's, not, it's not readable because it's some signs, yeah. some, something. It has, they have added some letters so you cannot know what exactly you're connecting That is with. not a serious person. Let's get past that, that person. Get serious then said your connection. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a professional <laughs> networking site. Yeah. Uh, it does not entertain mediocrity. So go and build your blood first, then come and connect with professionals. Exactly. Yeah. That's the whole point. Should you upload your CV there? Should you also send in links there and also, uh, you know, put every detail about every small thing you've done throughout your career path? You know, LinkedIn is your 24-hour uh, profile. It's your global platform. If, for example, if you make your CV, it will just be on your laptop or in your PC. Mm -hmm. It will just be available to a recruiter when you are sending for a job. Mm -hmm. But for a LinkedIn profile, when you work on it and you, uh, when you fill all the sections and you optimize it, eh, mm -hmm. it is available even for a recruiter in US, in Europe, in wherever, wherever they are. For example, I, I get so many um, uh, requests from uh, the, the job seekers I deal with that they want to work with NGOs. Mm. And you know Nairobi is a hub of NGOs, eh? Yeah, yeah. But most of them, the headquarters are where? Out of country. Out of they're in Europe. They're in, they're in uh, New York. Mm -hmm. They're in those countries that are out of country. And those recruiters, the recruiters in, in this country, before they make a decision to hire someone, yeah. they first of all consult with the headquarters. Yes. Or even headquarters, they even refer to them, people that they have seen in Kenya that they can work with them. So it's a very important platform. I call it it's a global platform. And a recruiter from anywhere in the world can bump onto you. For example, mm -hmm. I had um, I had a client who, whom I worked on the on, on the LinkedIn. I helped to optimize it. Mm. And he got a call from New York and he got a job. He from in the in Jew. Here in Kenya. <laughs> That's wow. how huge it is. LinkedIn is good and every every youth should join LinkedIn. They should join. And not just it's, joining. Uh -huh. Work on it. There, uh, uh, there are no sections that are mandatory. The about section, uh, you are the, the education section, mm -hmm. the experience section, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the headline. Head, your headline is your branding line. Exactly. And, 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 and you know, one thing that uh, I think people should know, Watare and myself, we actually meant on LinkedIn. Yes. <laughs> 
And I actually sent a message on exactly <laughs> what I do and uh, what I would like us uh, to discuss. To discuss yes. Yeah, I did send a hi or a good morning. You, you did not send hi. I would yeah. have ignored it. I was straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you are a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about now meeting in real life. Yeah. You've built your connections. Yeah. You want to now meet in real life. Yeah. The do's and the don'ts. Wow. So, um, uh, what, what, um, for example, if you went for a for a for a for a networking event mm -hmm. or or any other event where you were able to interact with the people, connect with the people, and um, and you're able to get um, uh, some net some some networks and how um, and some uh, some some uh, um, business cards. Yes. And one of the ways uh, I, I want I want to talk about the fires are you. Mm. One of the wrong ways that people do is you see is the use of uh, business, cards. business cards. There are people who think that um, if you have a road of business cards yeah. and you go into an event yeah. and you are just handing in business cards to anyone who passes around, eh? yeah. uh, some of them stand uh, on the entrance of the of the event and yeah. they are handing in business cards and they use the 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 role of the average, and the more you had in uh, uh, the, higher of the, of the higher chances <laughs> of networking, <laughs> it, it doesn't work. work. It doesn't work. Actually, some people they even drop those uh, uh, those uh, bicycles before they leave the event. Wow. What works? Business card is used to cement an already existing relationship. After uh -huh. I have introduced myself to you, that is when you give. And I have just know what you do, where you work. What is your profession? That's now when I had in your business card. But if I have not talked to you, and I have just had any business cards, and other guys are just picking business cards, it will not go through. I'm sure you have a business card, you don't know where you got it from. Yeah, there are so many. That's so how many. you got it. <laughs> there are so many. That's how you got it. That's even just, but, but there's a business card, you know, ah, I know, ah, I can remember this guy. Uh, that one, you build a relationship first. So it just cemented that relationship. Exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah. And that's and, and that's how when you meet. That's that's when you can even give a call to that person. And now you told you, uh, and then you can see how you met, uh, how you, uh, um, I mean, uh, what you do, and how would you like them to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, wow. James, I, I want us to finish this conversation. Yes, yes, yes. I'm told that our time is up. Oh, my. Ah, and uh, I'm sure we there's just a lot started. that... Huh? We've, We've just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just cleansed the we, service. We, we've just cleansed the service. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, well, I, I have so many things I, 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 I want to ask you, yeah. especially on networking. But uh, let's wrap it up. And uh, as we bring this to, to, to a close, yeah. final question, and then you, as, I, as you answer this, you also have your final word as you talk to that Kenyan youth. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, final question. When a youth is uh, uh, about to uh, graduate, mm. you know, there is that time when you are still in school yeah. and there is that time after you graduate, after graduate. when you are still volunteering, yeah, you are still yeah, trying yeah, yeah. To, to look for jobs yeah. here and there. Yeah. You know, is, is there any ripe time to start networking? Is there that time that you say that at this time, Nikki, when I get to this level, is when I'm good to build my networks? That some are still in campus. They are saying, nah, I, I don't have anything to do right now. I still don't have a profile. I don't have a CV. My CV is just one page. Yeah. Is there any right time? Of course, as you have a final word. Yeah, sure. You start, I would like to advise all the uh, university students and the college students uh, or whichever uh, institution of higher learning you are in. Mm -hmm. You start networking immediately, you get your foot into the first year. First year, first semester. Powerful. That's when you start networking. Mm -hmm. how, do you do, how do you do it? There are some colleges, universities, we have got these groups, the ISEC, President's Award, Kenya Red Cross. There are these groupings, so many of them. Who, where this join these groups, even see you, you can be able to learn a lot of things that you didn't know. <laughs> clubs, clubs, join them, and that's why some people even get elected to these clubs as readers, chairperson, yeah. secretary. You start honing your leadership skills, you start honing your communication <laughs> skills, you start honing since you'll be working as a team, you start honing your teamwork skills. And some of this, um, and out of those um, people who get jobs very fast, mm -hmm. they, are, they are students who have, got, who have been to these clubs. Yes, yes. That's yes, an analysis yes. I have done myself. People have been ISEC, people have been uh, President's Award, people have been uh, um, uh, a good club in the, in the, in the, in the Institute of Higher Learning mm -hmm. because they're able to 
This club is usually invite people to talk to them. They usually get invited to dinners. That's why you're able to know how to dress for a dinner. That's why you're able to know even how to dress when you are going for a professional network. When you are still in campus. So by the time you leave campus, you are well polished. Just wait. Uh, now compare that person mm. with somebody who has never been to any event, any club. He's just wearing the way he thinks. He thinks my dress, my choice. And he's communicating the way he wants. There's a very huge difference. It's you like can't compare difference. the two of them. Wow. Yeah. I want us one day, Alin, let's have a conversation about now interviews. Yeah. We should talk about it's that. It's very huge. Because does your networking also have an effect on the uh, uh, the way you handle yourself even in an interview? Or will you display the same characteristics? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be surprised that uh, you, get, you get some A materials and B materials <laughs> who can only be able to answer a very simple question. Tell right. us about yourself. <laughs> that is James Otare, <laughs> a HR specialist. Can we, my brother, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Uh, keep the conversation going on our social media handle. The hashtag is why in the morning. Remember, we are asking the question, why are we having many graduates not getting jobs nowadays? Bona graduates, you want a the hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. Engage with us. We are taking a short break. After this, we'll be back with much more. This is why in the morning. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.